Hello, dear friends. It's good to be together again uh, after a number of months of not doing a weekly video post. I'm happy to say I'm back. I'm in my car. I'm ready to go. I've even got my backpack here. I noticed yesterday with the uh, uh, back to school for all our grandchildren that in the requisite pictures, uh, they all had their backpacks. And so I've got my backpack and I'm ready to go and I hope you are as well. Today's September 7th, 2022. And it's my intention to do a video post week by week between now and the first day of our Dawson Synod, which will be wonderfully in person, Lord willing, at St. Peter and St. Paul, thanks to the hospitality of Canon Brent Stiller and the good folks of St. Peter and St. Paul's. Just as we were there, the last in-person Synod 2019 will be there, Lord willing, uh, uh, this, this November. So between now and then, there will be a weekly post, uh, I trust, and I hope that maybe you'll join along. <clears throat> As I've been reflecting on, on what I've tried to do over the years in these video posts, three things. First of all, I've tried to share a little bit of scripture for, you to, for us to meditate on, perhaps over the coming week. Um, a little bit of information about the diocese and things that we're involved with and things that I am uh, personally uh, thinking about and working on. Uh, and then thirdly, an invitation to pray. Well, speaking about prayer, uh, I uh, a number of years ago, many years ago, I was uh, there was a Billy Graham crusade in the Toronto area, and because I live in the Toronto area, we were involved. And I went to a workshop before, uh, which was on the topic of the three keys to a successful evangelistic enterprise or crusade. Uh, and it was a profound teaching but a very simple one, which I appreciated very much. First of all, the first key was pray. I get that. Secondly, pray. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. And of course, you guessed it, the third one was pray. Well, let me share a, a little bit, a, a snippet of scripture from 1 Corinthians 16, the last chapter of the first uh, epistle of Paul to the Corinth that we have in canon of scripture. Uh, he's writing from Ephesus. We know that. Uh, he even says so, the verse before, and he's hoping uh, <clears throat> to come to Corinth. It's in the spring, probably, of 53 AD. And this is what he says. It's an interesting thing. For a wide door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. That's 1 Corinthians 16, 9. For a wide door for effective work is open to me, and there are many adversaries. Interesting juxtaposition of an open door for the gospel, and then adversaries, challenges, attack, setbacks. Well, it's, they seem to go together, don't they? That in fact, when there's a move of the Lord in the gospel, there's always a pushback from the evil one, his demonic realm, uh, from the, there's pushback. Uh, and I have to say, as I reflect on, on the world, first of all, we've, we've gone through an incredible time of difficulty. Uh, the pandemic, uh, natural disasters, uh, now economic uncertainty, um, war. And here in Canada, the, most recently, these horrible stabbings, uh, and uh, affecting uh, an indigenous uh, town in particular. Uh, these are all startling and difficult things. And then personally, uh, we, uh, many of us know uh, discouragement, loneliness, uh, anxiety. Um, it, it, it's, there's just a, a lot of things going on. Uh, and, and then in the church, there's definitely a sense of attack which is showing itself in all sorts of ways. So uh, there is adversaries for sure, but there's also a move of the gospel. And I submit to you, I believe that in this day of perhaps unprecedented pushback and adversaries, there is before us the potential, and I pray an incredible harvest for the gospel, which we need to be involved with. So the, what are the three prays? For there, each one starts with a P. Pray for protection, 
Please pray for protection for our diocese and for all who are touched by our diocese in any way. So here's a liturgical prayer, and Scott Hunt is going to post these so you can use them day by day. I'll fall. It would be wonderful. Protection. Keep your church, O Lord, by your perpetual mercy. And because without you the frailty of our nature causes us to fall, keep us from all things hurtful and lead us to all things profitable for our salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Well, the second uh, P is uh, first protection. The second one is progress in the gospel. Pray for progress in the gospel for our five priorities, bold witnesses, biblically grounded, loving children and youth into the kingdom, on mission, planting and growing churches, for a great harvest of boys and girls, men and women in these days, using our Anic congregations and people as part of the means of the gospel going forward. And so here's the prayer. Almighty God, our Savior, you desire that none should perish, and you have taught us through your Son that there is great joy in heaven over every sinner who repents. Grant that our hearts may ache for a lost and broken world. May your Holy Spirit work through our words, deeds, and prayers, that the lost may be found and the dead may uh, made alive, and that all your redeemed may rejoice around your throne through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the third P, P for protection, P for progress in the gospel, and three P for Packer College. Next week, September 12 to 16, is our first orientation week for our diocesan theological college housed at Good Samaritan Church in St. John's, Newfoundland. And uh, the consecration of that wonderful church building at Good Samaritan is on September 14th, Holy Cross Day. And at the same time, we'll be consecrating and, uh, uh, and the Packer College. Uh, and thus we'll begin uh, our Dawson College named after uh, that great saint who were, we were honored to have as a priest in Annick, Canon J.I. Packer. And so, friends, we need you to pray for our college as we launch, uh, for the students, for the faculty, uh, for those who are in our organization, and blessing for Good Samaritan in graciously housing this. It's, it's an incredible thing. So I'll be, talk, I'll be next week actually doing my post from there. Uh, and, uh, and so I hope that you'll come for that one. But let's pray for Packer College, and I hope you'll do this every day. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you manifested your love by sending your only begotten Son into the world that all might live through him. Pour out your Spirit on our diocese as we launch Packer College and begin its first term that will train faithful ministers to serve as clergy and laity to fulfill his command to preach the gospel to all people. Raise up a new generation of pastors who will be sent forth as laborers into your harvest, defend them in all dangers and temptations, and hasten the time when the fullness of the Gentiles shall be gathered in and faithful Israel shall be saved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Well, dear friends, uh, it's good to get going again in these video posts. Uh, please pray, 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 pray for protection, pray for uh, progress in the gospel, and pray for Packer College. Uh, and uh, in the context of that, let's remember this verse, for a wide door for effective work has opened to me and there are many adversaries, 1 Corinthians 16, 9. Dear friends, search the scriptures daily and every opportunity you have, open your mouth and speak to people about Jesus because that's the way the gospel goes forward in power. God bless you.